citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata. Are you ready for headlines? Because they're ready for you. Hey, are you interested in quantum computing? It's really in its early stages right now, but here's an opportunity to actually experiment with it on your own. Pretty cool. IBM launched an online simulator for its quantum computing research, and you can run your very own experiments on it. This is a five qubit computer that's cryogenically frozen to help it function, and anyone can request access to the online portal. Once you're in, you can create basic logical equations and either run them in the simulator or send them off to IBM's actual quantum hardware to be processed. Quantum computing relies on a premise of being able to represent bits simultaneously, so scaling up technology like this could prove to be useful as research improves. This is really cool. I don't think I'm going to be actually taking advantage of it, but I love the fact that it's open to anybody yeah. and that quantum computing is happening right now. Yeah, this is amazing stuff, and you can get in on it if you have any interest. And I, I know IBM wants to kind of encourage interest in quantum computing yeah. for future generations and also just, you know, young people who are interested in the uh, in the science of quantum computing, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go from the highest of highs, the peak of technology of quantum computing to the lowest valley. And by that, I mean, of course, a working robot tongue. Uh, YouTube user Mansuno does what everyone else does when he sees his favorite anime character on his computer screen. He licks his monitor. Everyone? Everyone. Oh. And the one thing about that is, is cleanup is kind of gross. So he did what uh, anybody would do if you were in his shoes, or I guess in his face. Anyone? Anyone. He made a robot tongue. Yes, that's right. He built a robot tongue to lick the screen for him. A servo, Arduino, and a silicone tongue so realistic I don't want to know where he got it from is all it took for Mansudo to make his really weird dreams come true. So I guess there's something to say here about living your dreams. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of world do we live in when licking your own screen becomes too much work? I sincerely hope that you, <laughs> the, the viewer, are licking your screen right now do you watching hope that? us. Are you sure you hope that? Yeah, I do. Automating the licking? It feels like, come on, buddy, if you can't even lick yourself. Lick automation. I just... <laughs> that tongue really freaks me out, you guys. I'm going to be I'm frightened to, to find here. out which of these stories you want to talk about on Thursday. You know, uh, <laughs> I could really go on about this robot tongue, but you know what? I think the more important story to civilization is going to be yeah. quantum computing. That's true. So I think we it may not get us as many clicks as, no. as the little tongue story. <laughs> Never. But yeah, we should definitely talk about quantum computing. How cool is it that it's open to anybody? IBM is doing a really cool thing here, and we'll talk about it more in our deep dive episode on Thursday. Yes, and if you want to get in on the conversation, you can talk about any of the topics we've chosen to discuss even tongues. on Thursday. You, yeah, you can even talk about. It. Honestly, like, yeah, just talk about it. Talk about the robot tongues with us too. It's hashtag HeyTD on Twitter, and if we like what you say. We will feature it on Thursday's show. Yes, that's how you do that. Uh, should we just jump right into Phonetographer of the Day? Let's do it. Today's Phonetographer of the Day is Bedjum, who took this with a Nexus 6P. Yeah, Bedjum wrote, hey guys, my name's Bedjum. Pronounce Bedjum like gum, but with a J. Love that. This month's theme is spring, right? Well, I was at the park and the trees were just starting to come to life with color. These pictures were taken with my Nexus 6P at night with very little light. Yes, the sky really did look that weird color as well. I had to compress the images to send them, so I hope they didn't lose their quality. You have permission to use them on your show, of course. I feel like this is lit like a movie. Like, what's going to happen underneath this tree, in front of this tree? I'll tell you what's going to happen. The night elves are going to emerge, and they're going to make me their prime warrior, and I will save the kingdom for them. That's a really good story. I will buy that. Somebody call the president of Hollywood and make that movie happen. <laughs> Bedjam, thank you so much for that photography. If you guys want to get in on photographer of the day, see, send in your spring-themed photos to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, be sure you do our four requirements. Tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it. Tell us how to pronounce your name. Super key. And then tell us a little story about why you took that picture. We need those four things because they make the show better. Yes, that is very true. You can also find us on social media or send a friend to the show at TomorrowDaily.com. Uh, that is it for us today on May the 4th. It's not Wednesday. 
I do you consider a Star Wars day to be May the Fourth? I think maybe yeah. May, May 25th, which is when the first movie came out in theaters. Yeah, but it's fun to say, May the Fourth be with you. Be good humans, guys. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>